Here's my, this is my quick five minute, three minute sermon. The four, and I kind of stole this idea from a book I read, um, though I, I've changed it a little bit and added a question. I got, there are four most important questions in life that every one of us needs to answer. The four most important questions. Question number one is, what is God calling you to do with your life? Every person has to answer that question. What is God calling you to do to invest your life into the world? All of you have gifts and talents and abilities and training and education and high school and college and trade school and whatever that God has given you to do something to make a difference. And I don't care if you're 20s or if you're 80 years old. Oh, by the way, to me, the, be the best, I didn't say this last service, the best praise about President Trump being reelected is that the most stressful job in the United States has got to be the president. And we just elected someone who's 78 years old to a four-year term to the most stressful job in the world. I feel very good at 66. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I feel young. <laughs> so all of you that are 82 and younger, we don't have any excuse anymore. Like, oh, I don't want to do anything. I'm too old, okay? I was like, this is the greatest thing. Even the young people said, we don't have a problem, you know, electing someone 78 years old. They can be sharp and so, hey, um, now how did I get side? Oh, what's God calling you to do with your life? And I don't care how old you are, you should be able to answer that question. Question number two is, where are you going to live to do that amazing thing that God is calling you to do? So, God called me to be a pastor long ago. And the, then the second question was, okay, God, where am I going to live to do that? If you're an engineer, I guess you, you could say, I want to be an engineer in California. My one niece said, she told my brother, I'm going to California. I don't care what my job is. She went to college. I'm getting a job in California, and that's where she lives. So Robin and I finished, and the Lord said, it's Pittsburgh. Okay. Now, I looked up. There are some sites that claim Pittsburgh is the number one city to live in the United States. So I, I was going to show clips on this. Number one city. And as I say, Cranberry and Mars is the number one spot around Pittsburgh. So we are in the center of the world. <laughs> so um, other than the weather, you know, we got the sports, the medical, the stores, the uh, affordable housing. But the number one thing about Pittsburgh is, I think, the people. I feel safe. People are friendly. I, I'm just, I'm amazed at the people in this area that the Lord has brought us to. And so we are very happy that for the last 42 years, we lived in the Pittsburgh area. We have six kids. Five of them live in the Pittsburgh area, and one decided to be a missionary in Cambodia, although she now lives in Singapore. So obviously my five kids, with all their training and schooling and college, said, we're going to live in Pittsburgh too. So where are you going to live? And I think many of us have made the decision, this is a great place to live. Number three. Who are you going to do life with? Who are you going to do life with? So it may be who, who are you going to marry? It could be who are you going to be your friends? And I often think to myself, what church? Because our church is clearly a very large extended family. And there are many churches you could pick. There are huge churches. Like if you want to be invisible and you don't want anyone to know you, there are churches for you to go to. If the disadvantage of a very small church is sometimes it's a little bit too ingrown and too invasive. So I, I have a bias. I just, I love our size. 
I don't mind growing, but um, I just, we've all made a decision that LifePoint Alliance is going to be our extended church family. And I think this church is amazing in the care and the watching over and the kindness and the prayer and, and all the different activities. I'm like, man, I can't picture a more loving, caring family than at LifePoint Alliance. So who are you going to do life with? So I thank the Lord for my wife and all of my wonderful brothers and sisters in the Lord. And then the fourth question is, Who's going to be your God? Who's going to be your God? Are you going to follow the gods of the world? Are you going to follow yourself as God? Or is Jesus Christ going to be Lord? And I think if you come to LifePoint Alliance, you're going to realize that for most of us, Jesus Christ, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three in one, they are our God.